Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we will write a python program to calculate the average of the numbers in the list. So the input of this program is list of numbers and in the output we need to get average of that numbers. For example if I take list as 10, 20, 30 which contains 3 elements then in the output we need to get the average of these 3 numbers. To find out the average of given number, first we need to find out the sum of given numbers. So first we need to add these three numbers 10 plus 20 plus 30. So we will get 10 plus 30, 30 plus 30 so 60. Next we need to divide this number by 3. Because here we are calculating the average of 3 numbers that's why divided by 3. If I am calculating the average of 4 numbers then I need to divide the sum by 4. Here the list contains 3 numbers so divide the sum by 3 so we will get 20. This is the average of given number. And now to write this program first step is we need to take the input. Here in our case that is list. So take list of numbers. So input of this program is list of numbers. And the second step is we need to find out the sum of given numbers. As I said to find out the average first we need to know the sum of the given numbers. So find out the sum of given numbers. And the third step is divide the sum by how many elements are present in the list. So count of elements. Or you can take length of list also because uh, length of list is nothing but how many elements are present in that list. That's what we want here. So you can take length of list. We need to divide the sum by the length of the list. And the last step is you need to print the result. Alright, so we need to follow these four steps to write the program. So first let's do the first step that is we need to take the input. You can take the input in two ways. One is you can directly take a list or you can take the user input. First we'll take list directly. So I'll take a list and I'll take few elements in this like 10, 20, 30 and 40. So we are done with the first step that is taking the input. Next is we need to find out the sum of given numbers. So here we need to find out the sum of the elements of list 1. We need to get 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 total is 100. So we need to get sum. So for this to find the sum of the elements of list I am using here sum function. It is a built in function which is used to find the sum of the iterables. So here I will take a variable first sum of elements and here I will use sum function on list1. So this sum function will add the element of list1 and it will give a result. That result will be stored in this variable sum of elements. You can take any name for this uh, variable suitable name. Alright so now we are done with the second step also. The first step is we need to take a list. So here we took a list called list1 with 4 elements 10, 20, 30, 40. Next step is we need to find out the sum of the elements of the list. So for that I am using sum function and I am storing that result in the sum of elements variable. Next we need to divide the sum by length of list. That is nothing but we need to divide the sum by the count of elements. So here to find how many elements are present in the list one you can find out the length of list one. To find the length of list one I will use length function. So here. I will take a variable called length of list1 and here I will use length function and I will find out the length of list1. Here I am using two built in function one is sum and another one is length. Sum is used to find the sum of the elements of list and length function is used to find out the length of the list1. How many elements are present in the list1. Now I need to divide the sum by the length of the list1. So for that I will take a variable called average and here I will take sum of elements divided by length of list. So here first we need to take list1 next we need to find out the sum then we need to divide the sum by length of list1. So for that I used length function and I store the result in length of list1 variable. Now here I am dividing the sum by the length of list1. Now our result is stored in this variable. To print that I am using print function and here average I will print a message and I will print average. So let's execute this now. So here we can see it will give the result it is 25. 
बिकॉज वी हैव टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस थर्टी प्लस फोर्टी सो टोटल इज हंड्रेड सम इज हंड्रेड लेंथ इज फोर सो हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फोर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ आई टेक टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी एंड इफ आई एग्जीक्यूट दिस इट विल गिव एवरेज एज ट्वेंटी टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस थर्टी इज सिक्सटी सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट लेंथ ऑफ लिस्ट वन इज थ्री सो इट इज ट्वेंटी हियर इनिशियली वी टूक लिस्ट वन एज टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी नेक्स्ट इट विल एग्जीक्यूट द नेक्स्ट लाइन दैट इज सम ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ लिस्ट वन सो दिस विल फाइंड दिस सम ऑफ लिस्ट वन सो विल गेट टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी राइट सो सिक्सटी इन सम ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सम ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इज सिक्सटी नेक्स्ट इट विल एग्जीक्यूट नेक्स्ट लाइन लेंथ ऑफ लिस्ट वन इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ लिस्ट वन सो देर आर थ्री एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द लिस्ट वन सो लेंथ ऑफ लिस्ट वन इज थ्री नेक्स्ट हियर वी कैन सी एवरेज इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एलिमेंट डिवाइडेड बाई लेंथ ऑफ लिस्ट वन दैट इज सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री दैट इज ट्वेंटी दैट इज स्टोर्ड इन द वेरिएबल एवरेज एंड इट विल प्रिंट दैट मैसेज यूजिंग प्रिंट फंक्शन राइट इन दिस वे दिस प्रोग्राम वर्क नेक्स्ट हियर आई टूक लिस्ट डिरेक्टली राइट यू कैन टेक द यूजर इनपुट फॉर द लिस्ट ऑल्सो आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट हाउ टू टेक द यूजर इनपुट फॉर लिस्ट सो यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो सो हियर to take the user input first i need to ask the user to enter how many elements he want in the list so here first i'll ask the user to enter how many elements next i'll take a empty list next i need to take a for loop and uh, i need to iterate n times and here i need to take input because i want number here i need to use int input here you need to take list 1 because here i took list name as list 1 so now we are done so let me execute this how many elements you want i want uh, five elements so you need to enter elements here so i'll take 1 2 3 4 and 5 so five elements are entered 1 2 3 4 5 these are the elements of the list so it will add 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 Divided by the number of elements present in the list, that is five. Fifteen divided by five, answer is three. That's why we got output as three. And also, if you are taking user input for the list, then uh, no need to find out the length of the list because here we took the how many elements we want in the list, right? The n. You can take that directly. No need to find out the length of the list. In this way, you can take the user input as well as you can directly take a list. and you can find out the average of the numbers present in the list all right so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care